Apple tree. <clears throat> Excuse me, I actually have a little bit of a cold today, but <clears throat> but it's um, this is uh, what the um, egg clutch for uh, the spotted lanternfly looks like. You can see a bunch of them infested this maple tree, so I'm going to leave that generation alone because they'll be dead within a few weeks, but this is um, an egg sack or clutch or whatever. Um, and I'm actually, so this is what it looks like. It blends in with the tree. You can see it kind of looks like the tree bark. But I'm going to use this stick and kind of destroy it. So I'm getting rid of uh, potentially 50 to 80 spotted lanternflies that would be born next year. So that's what you want to look for. Notice how it really blends in, but when you crush it, it kind of smushes the eggs. That's why it's like wet, that's like the eggs. There was another one over here that I already destroyed. So yeah, that's uh, what to look for in a, a maple tree. All right. Yeah, and here's another one. He's a you can use like anything, like a coin or a credit card or, you know, a rock. But yeah, it just kind of, the stuff looks like, uh, basically blends in with the tree bark. But then you'll see this kind of a liquidy thing from the eggs. So yeah, by doing this, you get rid of the next year's generation. And it's always on the underside of the branches I've seen. And again, this is a, a maple tree. See an adult right there. Like I was saying, they'll be dead within a few weeks, so like, they're the ones that lay the eggs, but um, just kind of be proactive and uh, reduce uh, the next year's population. So if you live in uh, PA, Delaware, New York, or Virginia, certain areas you have them, so check your maples and your other trees. I just see them in maples around here. Um, the other trees I checked out did not have them, the uh, the, the adults were the eggs. Um, so yeah, alright.